Hey guys, welcome back to a, another Oblivion gameplay video. Um, I was just taking a second to look at how beautiful this game looks, even though it's um, probably 20 years old now. Honestly, I actually don't know when this game came out, but it uh, looks pretty good for its age. Um, now, it's not a, as good as Skyrim or even newer games, um, but for its time, it was definitely a beautiful game. And I think the sky looks immaculate. Um, but we are going... Um, last time we um, witnessed the Emperor die, um, and we were told to go and find his last remaining heir. So deliver the amulet. Um, yeah, so we need to go to Wayne and Priory near the city of Coral. So we're going to find that, and we're going to go ahead and fast travel there instead of walking all that way. I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. Yes? Can I help you? Um, I must speak to Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Oh, I forgot. I, I, I did switch the controls. I forgot to mention that. Space is now jump instead of interact, and E is now interact. So um, I'm going to have to get used to that um, because I had gotten used to the other controls, but now I've swapped it again. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. Or actually, instead of saying that, I'm going to go with the Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? Um, he gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Give Joffrey the Amulet. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Um, tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguard, the Blade. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvat, south of here. You must go to Kvat and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Um, assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. 
cool. Dang it. <laughs> Ooh, steel arrows. Nice. Okay, I think... Yeah, this is way better. So, does two damage. This one does three. Um, I got a bunch of steel gear. I like it. Hmm. I don't remember. Am I wearing... I'm wearing iron greaves. I need leather. Rough leather boots. This is just regular leather. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe that'll be better. Let's see. Three armor, three armor. Maybe it's just a visual difference. Let's take a look. The chest piece looks like that. And we can go here. It looks the exact same. It's literally just a name difference. Uh, that's okay. Okay, and I may actually take uh, this stuff just to sell it. So we're two pounds overweight currently. I want to store, uh, store the iron shield. And then we need to hit up the Imperial City Market District here in just a second. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Pyron, and this is Wayne and Pryor, a monastery. Uh, do you have assistance? Here. Perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my bl You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our... Pr the Warp in the West added... What does that give? Take care. Actually, read that really quick. Mm. The warp in the west. Oh, block skill increased. Nice. That's a really long book. So we talked to this guy, that guy. I think there's one more downstairs, and then there's a guy outside. Um. So prior Mabel. I know that you are on an important mission for the blade. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory stable. Will do. Go with Talos's blessing. Do not fail. Nice. So we now have a horse. I want to say there's one more person here that gives you um repair hammers. Maybe. There it is. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor is the name. And this is Waynon Priory. Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waynon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it. And I have others. Not much call for smith work around here in any case. Well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. Goodbye, and thank you. So now, let's check out our new horse. Prior Mabel's paint horse. So this is ours, right? Yeah. So it's brown and white. Kind of cool. Seems really slow. I think you can actually run faster once your athletic skill is higher. Let me check the map. I think. What was I wanting to do? So this has me going to Gavatch. Yeah, we definitely need to go to the market district in the Imperial City.
Ale. It's currently 6 p.m. They might be closed. Ooh, not closed. I'm Bernard. How do I sell to you? Is it this? Let's do business. It is. I'll sell you. That's a good deal. This and I don't think they're gold depletes. Like I think they just have a standard amount of gold. You got a great deal there. That seems a f that's a good an excellent that seems that's more than I'd use. A good price for a good customer. And our steel bow does a lot more. So go ahead and sell that one. I appreciate you. Farewell. Uh, we need to hit up a potions shop and sell to them. But first, I think I want to get um, the best. Let's do business. A helmet. Um, yeah, so this will cost us 18 gold. Actually, let's see. That gives one armor. This gives one armor. Yeah, we'll just we'll just buy a leather helmet. And I don't think we can sell anything to him. Thank you for your patron. Goodbye. So let's go ahead and equip our stuff here. So we have a steel bow. And steel short sword. Leather helmet. I guess I could have gotten I'm just gonna drop that. We have 259 gold now. Super sweet. So let's go to a potion shop. A gilded crap. I'm pretty sure that's where I need to be at. Yeah. I have everything for the budding alchemist under only quality goods for sale here. I want to sell her the ale. A fine transaction. Um, we may hang on to this fire shield. We can sell that night eye. We can sell that. Mm, potion of respite. Potion of sorcery. We'll sell all but two of those. So we're not going to be using magic really heavily. We're going to keep the potions of respite. Um, potions of healing. I actually want to sell all these ingredients. That's a fail. Uh, mortar and pestle. We're not going to be using that. A good price for a good customer. Tell your friend. Take care. All right, now we can continue on with our mission. We need to go here and find it on the map. So Kavach um, is to the southwest of the Imperial City. And we're going to go and fast travel there. Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. Run from what? God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that... Swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed. 
Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. How did you escape? It was Savly and Matty. Some of the other guard helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Savly and says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. Something worse in the ruins. Oh God, I don't even notice anymore. I guess you could say I'm just a little crazy. Do you have anything to say? Hope is gone. The Imperial line is dead. The covenant is broken. Stop yeah. talking. What, bro? What? Looks like the Oblivion realm is starting to bleed over into this realm. Nice. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What happened here? We lost the damn city. That's what happened. It was too much, too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel. But others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground. That's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? Breaking the Siege of Kvatch. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know how to close this gate. But it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks in the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. All right. So we are going to break the siege of Kavach really quick by closing this Oblivion Gate. And, uh, yeah. 
Super cool looking. This must be one of the guys he sent in. He is just on a roll right now. Hang on. Let me go and help him out. Thank the nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others. Taken. They were taken to the tower. It's all right. What's going on? Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape. But the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. Hold on, I can use your help here. You're right. You're right. I can't just leave poor many into his fate. If he's still alive, we've got to try and save him. All right. Lead the way. Let's find many and get out of here. He said he took him to the big tower, so he's got to be in that one right there. So now we just got to figure out how to get over there. I don't remember if that resets his health. Oh, it does. Okay. So I can do that to keep him alive. Because I don't have the healing hands spell to heal him. Iron helmet. Don't really. Ooh, robe of deflection. Our first enchanted item. Worth 500 gold. We'll take that. The scroll. And I'm actually going to. What in the world? Oh, we're going to wait an hour. Oh, we can't. And. Ow! Enemies nearby, it says. Nice. Okay, now can we wait an hour? Still can't. I 
I just don't want this guy to die. He's kind of my tank right now. These scamps are... Kind of tanky. Oh, he died. Dang. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all of this. Really good gear. A Kavat shield. Oh. Dramora Field Arrow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and equip that stuff. Pretty sure it's significantly better than mine. Maybe not. Curious gives three armor. Okay, so not really. Greaves. Okay, the Greaves are definitely better. Curious about the same. Kind of sucks that he died, though. I was wanting to keep him alive. Why are you dead? We're going to go ahead and quick save here. Oh, hello. Oh, that hurts. Dramora Mace. Does four damage. Where'd the scamp go? I saw him. Trying to figure out which tower the guy was in. Blood Feast. I do remember there was a guy... Oh, okay. That just took me back down. I guess there was two entrances to this area. There's a guy we need to save somewhere. 
He must be further up, but I'm pretty sure he. I have to leave this tower and go to another one. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Rending halls. Rending halls. Corridors of Dark Salvation. So, same deal. You know what, I may try and, to make this go a little faster, we'll start casting Flare. There we go. It'll also help us con uh, conserve some of our arrows. We don't want to run out. Let's see. This goes to Plane of Oblivion. I think this might continue up the tower. Okay, so we have to go this way. Watch this. Okay. It's kind of forcing us to go out this way. This is the realm of Mehrunes Dayan, the Prince of Destruction. Sigil keep key. Quickly, quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil key, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry, the keeper has the key. You must get the key. I got it. Now what? Take the key. Get to the sigil keep and don't worry about me. There's no time. Okay, so I can't get you free at all? Okay. Uh, well. I'll just. Do what he says then. I was hoping I could free him. Almost got stabbed. Is 
There's definitely another Dremora up there hanging out. 100%. Maybe not. Oh, yep, there definitely was. Ow. Holy crap, I'm gonna die. That dude hurted. I don't know. The I feel like the the destruction spell really isn't worth it because of how little damage it does. I could just deal as much damage with my bow instead. Sigillum Sanguis. see how close are we to leveling up we're uh, just under halfway we need to level up these skills a little bit more uh we should probably start repairing our gear Gear is all repaired. Nice. Robe of glib tongues, mercantile, speechcraft, personality increase. 2,406 gold. That is an epic find. Let's see. Oh, there's a guy over here. Hmm. Awesome sneak attack. This guy, I'm not going to be able to sneak attack, though. Oof. Poison of Cowardice. Take the Sigil Stone and close our first Oblivion Gate.
I have closed the gate by taking the citadel stone that anchors it within oblivion. I should tell Savile and Mattias that the way into Kavach is now open. Actually, before we do that, we got this. Absorb agility, fortify agility. So we can actually use this and apply it to um, some of our items to kind of enchant them. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. I'm ready. Let's go. For Kavach! 